Okay, y'all, let's talk about Jada Wada in this stink, cheesy, skeezy, sleazy swimsuit ad. I'm gonna just start off with saying, y'all, I'm not surprised. I think a lot of you guys are surprised because you haven't been connecting the dots and really, like, peeping game with some of Lil Baby and Jada's moves over, like, the last couple of years but them two been moving funny so i'm not surprised to see jada do something absurd and obscene like this especially involving kids um let me just say that little baby going to the white party let me know what kind of time he's on jada and him live extremely extravagant lifestyles that i've always questioned how do they afford them because really more so him than her because she sells legit products a lot of them haven't been successful and they haven't generated her as much money as she would want us to believe so just understand that she just admitted to stealing designs and she hasn't been able to sustain any type of um high profit business so that's something else to think of as well she's making a lot of her money off of social media and club bookings but that's the thing though I think she's more booked than her baby daddy because little baby cannot sell out an arena he can barely sell out a damn club like you don't see him going from city to city like you see JT like you see Nikki like you see Megan like you see sexy red like, Lil Baby has completely been sat down. And if y'all not peeping game, I think going to that white party is what really did it for him. Because I feel like them people did something to him. They told him, yeah, yeah, you know, you should do this. And if you do this, well, you gonna get that. And this gonna happen for you and blah, blah, blah. And sometimes they be working with the trickster spirit. And it do just the opposite. Because, like, again, he has been completely sat down. Meanwhile, Gunna, you know, continues to thrive and continues to book shows so interesting let me also add Lil Baby and Jada were at Paris Fashion Week they looked like they had like fake got back together for photo ops and they went to the Rick Owens show and they went to the Balenciaga show those are two shows that stood out to me I'm sure they went to many many more they did go to many many more but those are the two that stuck out because Rick Owens is a brand that is affiliated with a lot of celebrities him uh his wife michelle lamy is another person you can go to in the industry if you need some help with your career and balenciaga we know how they move everybody that go over there leave different than what they came and balenciaga supports a particular agenda so i think you guys can pick up what I'm putting down from that also don't forget that little baby was hanging out with Kim K at that Mike Rubin party or he has a picture with her and I know Kim K is another person who can help you with your career and Jada looks up to her a lot so I just want you guys to understand that these people move a certain way Please understand that there are photos of Jada in compromising positions, just like there are photos of Lil Baby in compromising positions. Jada has a photo with Pizza doing one eye symbolism, and she's got um, another photo in here, you know, just again covering her eyes. So that should let you guys know, you know, she's down with the shits. She's got a, a, a magazine like photo shoot, like an editorial that was done for her and she's got like a shoot with or she did a photo shoot with a magazine and the shoot was very symbolic too so you guys these people be on some other shit like it looks like one thing on the front end but when you have spiritual discernment you can clearly see that these people are you know tied in with particular people particular entities and they're doing work for them i wanted to add that and i wanted to say that first to justify why i'm not surprised with this raggedy ass ad because let's start off with from the top jada you claim to be selling swimsuits but i think you're selling something else because at the beginning of the video the beginning of the ad i was like why is this girl you know damn near nude thong kini of all bikinis you had to wear a thong kini when some of the most creative swimsuit designs are on one pieces you know why because there's more fabric to show more creativity with gag 
but you're around you're around here showing off these botched melons in a thong kini you know just looking real cheesy i can't help it she looked cheesy her surgery looks a mess only to take your bra off take your top off and then you know tan i thought that was just again cheesy and stank like she is always running around in very little clothing this woman is a whole mom a whole mom running around always on IG with some teeny, teeny, teeny ass skirt on. That is her favorite outfit piece is a extremely short mini skirt, ass cheeks hanging out. Jada is always dressed scantily clad. She carries herself like a stripper. She carries herself very, very poorly, especially for somebody who's a mom. Like, it's just like, not everybody should have kids. I don't give a damn. Y'all can say what y'all want. Jada carries herself terribly. She should be ashamed. I'm disgusted. Like, I was turning my face up disgusted by that stank-ass ad. Because that was just unnecessarily just raunchy and hoochy. For no damn reason. Only for kids to show up. And I'm like, this bitch right here. I said what I said. I'm like, what is up with her? And it's like, you know why you're doing this? Because you moving weird with them weird ass people. That's why you're doing this. Because you've been around them weirdos for too long. And they got you thinking that this type of shit is okay. They got you thinking that people are okay with this type of shit. They got you completely desensitized to the real fucking world. And that's why you move in the way that you move in. And I'm glad that people still have enough damn sense to call her bullshit out. And to say something and to um and again to let her know we see you and you a weirdo and the people who are like oh y'all parents get naked in front of y'all again at home and not in front show damn friends your friends should never see your mama nude ever seeing her in a bikini is as little amount of clothes as they should ever see her in and even that is you know you really need to be, again, at the beach with your top on the entire time. It is not appropriate to tan, nude, and topless around children. You do that around your man or where you are alone. And even when other people's kids are present, you need to be mindful of your behavior. Children are children. And all children should be treated the same whether they're your kids or not. So Jada was just on some other shit. She's completely out of line, but she's a weirdo because her baby daddy is a weirdo and they end with them people. And y'all wonder why that boy act the way he act because his mom and his dad are weird. So it's starting to show on him. And if we call it out, now we wrong. But I'm gonna leave that alone because y'all ready to eat me up anyway. But let's talk in the comments. I'm not messing with Jada. She's a freak. And this does not surprise me. Bye.